today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my last minute holiday Christmas gift ideas. It's like a tradition, like a holiday tradition that everybody buys their gifts last minute. That's why the malls are always packed. I mean, this video probably came right on time for you, right? And I know that um, I haven't really been uploading a lot lately. So yeah, hey, what's up? I hope you guys have been good. Um, I thought that I'd give you like this last minute holiday gift guide because I needed it for me to like kind of make a checklist of all the things that I needed to get. And I was like, you know what, let me just share this with y'all. I haven't made a video in a minute. So I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I really love, some of the things that I like, that I'm gonna be gifting to my friends and family. Yes, these are real Christmas gifts. Um, some of them I have here, some of them I had to ship because I have different people in different places. And then I will be giving away a couple things that I'm showing in this video. So stay tuned for that. There are a couple things that I love. So basically, let me just give you how I like to shop. What I do is, I literally buy stuff that I want. That way, number one, I feel like I'm spending my money on something that is worth it because I want it. And then number two, you find more joy in seeing somebody opening a gift that you actually wanted. For me, it's a win-win situation. I, if you don't know me, lately my major, major, major obsession has been Lululemon. Like, I don't know where this obsession came from. One day, I literally randomly asked my Twitter followers, like, Guys, are, limit, are Lululemon leggings worth the money? Are they worth the hype? And they were like, yes. And I had been needing some new leggings because I have claws, I have talons, if you guys can't tell. My nails are very pointy. So I poke through all of my leggings. Like I make holes in all of my leggings. And I was like, I need some sturdier, higher quality leggings, you know, that are going to last me a long time, that are comfortable and are worth the investment because I'm tired of buying these rinky dink $10 leggings at Forever 21 that don't last me no time and poke, I poke holes in them. So I have been wearing them for about two months now. Literally, I wear my leggings every single day. I have three pairs and I'm like, everybody in my life needs to have these leggings. Three pair of Lululemon leggings, they just came in the mail today. If you don't know anything about Lululemon, they have a large range of leggings. Um, they also have a lot of other stuff too. They have workout clothes, uh, jackets and coats and all kinds of stuff. So you can literally find anything that you need on Lululemon for as far as like workout, yoga, like style clothing. For me, I just love the leggings. It's the only thing I really tried and that's all I really wanted to invest in at the moment because they are pricey. They're a little bit expensive, but if you love the person you're getting them for, you won't mind buying and investing in their leggings. This is what I got. I got one pair, now these are for me. <laughs> I've told you about three pairs, one pair is for me. Don't judge me. These are the Align pants. They're so stretchy and bouncy, but the softness though, it doesn't feel like fleece or like cotton. It's like, and then not even spandex. It's like a buttery soft material. Buttery is the best way to describe it. It literally feels like your legs when you get a fresh wax, you know what I mean? For, these are more preferred for yoga, obviously, but I wear them to grocery shop, to the airport, to vacuum. It says it's a lycra fiber for stretch and shape retention. Buttery soft Nulu fabric is sweat wicking and four way stretch, high rise naked sensation. So I would suggest getting these for people who, who like the leisure activities, not so much workout. People who like to wear leggings to just run around and do errands and, or if they do yoga or something like that, this would be the pant to get for them. I also got two other pairs. I got another pair of Aligns and this is for a friend. These are the just the black pair, same pair, but in black. Um, these are the Wonder Under. Now the Wonder Under is different from the Align. The Align pants are more uh, buttery soft, like I said. The Wonder Under is thicker and they offer more support. So for people who are gonna be working out in these, um, this would be a more suitable approach because they're gonna be better for working out. They're gonna hold you in a little bit more and um, control a lot more movement. So these are not as... <laughs> the Align pants, you're gonna see some jiggle, okay? They're very, very soft and they're skin-like, but they give you a naked sensation, so the movement of your body will be more fluid. My booty jiggles when I wear the Align. My booty does not jiggle when I wear the Wonder Under. The Wonder Under is better suited for people who don't want the jiggle. But um, I got her this color because she loves maroon. 
uh, and I figured she might like this color, so. So I always get the question, um, what do you get for your male counterpart, your spouse, your father, your boyfriend, your brother? your best friend if he's a guy. And guys typically aren't too hard for me. It depends on the guy. Men are easy to shop for to me because men do not buy essentials. So if you want to get a man something, get them essentials, get them body wash, get them face wash, get them beard oil, a lifetime supply of toothpaste, a fancy toothbrush or tech items, a stand to hold their phone and their watch if they have an Apple watch or something like that, charger banks, Guys are easy to shop for for me because they never buy the things that they actually need. And then even if they have it, they always need more. Self-care, they don't really think about self-care like we do. If you're going sentimental value, I would say get some jewelry. And jewelry was my go-to for literally everyone this year. I love real jewelry. I prefer real jewelry just because I don't like to take it off. So when I go get in the shower, I don't wanna have to take all my earrings out. I don't wanna have to take my necklace off. So I buy jewelry that's not gonna tarnish. Sterling silver is the way to go. It's the cheapest. Um, so I'm gonna just tell you guys what I got my brother because he's probably not gonna watch this video. My brother is a gym rat. He's very buff. He likes to be able to shower and get sweaty and stuff in whatever he's wearing. So if he's wearing jewelry, he, he, didn't got, he don't wanna have to take it off and put it back on. I got my brother a couple necklaces is from ASOS they were like between 20 and 30 dollars um, for just like a regular chain like a very small chain that he can wear when he's showering when he's working out and it's not gonna tarnish I love men's uh, beaded jewelry like bracelets and things like that I think those are great Aldo has a lot of options for that if you go to the mall Aldo has like sets of bracelets and they're usually on sale uh, I got my dad when I get my dad my dad's North Face slippers um, they were like 50 bucks where they get them from. Zappos, Zappos has overnight shipping, so. Robes, pajamas, guys don't really wear pajamas like that. If they do, if they're old and rickety. I know they are. I know their pajamas got holes in them. Go ahead and buy them some new pajamas, some pajama pants, a set, you know, something warm for winter time. And socks, cool socks, guys like socks. Urban Outfitters has a really good selection of socks. Um, I feel like they have really cool like novelty socks, stuff that's funny if you like gag gifts. Those are some ideas for men. So for other gifts for women, if you have a hard time, if the woman that you're shopping for really likes makeup and beauty, hair accessories, the best way to go would definitely be to get a gift set. Sephora, Ulta, Walgreens, Target, all have really great gift sets. I just got some gift sets from Fresh. They sent them to me. I feel like they're really, really cute. I have two, but I'm gonna give one away. They're masks. And I'm sure you can get this, if not at Sephora, they probably sell this at the Fresh store, if there's a Fresh store in your mall. But if you're gonna go to the mall and get something, I would definitely say get a gift set. There's male gift sets too, uh, that are really nice. They're easy to wrap, because they're pretty much already packaged nicely for you. So these are great for people who like skincare. Uh, I suggest you go get this one, because it's got Raven on it. This is a Tresemme set, it's a hair set for a sleek and straight, so you're straightening your hair. I've also seen a lot of really cute um, Shea Moisture sets at Target as well as Myel Organics and I love Myel Organics. Makeup, I would always say either get like a lip set or palettes. Palettes are always a good idea. There's lots of cute, great palettes out right now. Um, anything Fenty, anything Fenty. And then for people who don't really do makeup, um, get them like something that they can like enjoy. So stuff that I like to use that I would suggest if you know somebody who's stressed out, I would suggest getting them coloring books. Uh, I love coloring books. I got these from Amazon from Color Pencils. Like that's a cute little set that you can get them uh, if they are stressed out like I am and, and need some stress relief. Um, I love these. These are great for people like your aunts and your cousins, people who you don't want to buy a huge gift for, but you want to get them something that they can use. I love little things like these. This is a tech kit. You can get little like emergency kits like this. I'm pretty sure they sell these at Ulta and Sephora. I've seen them all the time, but there's like little beauty essentials in there, like bobby pins, wipes, just random stuff that they would need. Um, so I would definitely say get something like this. This is a tech one. Um, it's got a camera lens, 
password hint list, cord organizer, cord wrapper, ball charger, mini stylus. This is great for people who are on the go. They always need stuff like this and they can just put it in their car or their purse or whatever. Um, this camera, I already have a camera like this, but I got this one in a PR package. This is the Instax Mini 9 Polaroid camera. And it take, you know, you take the picture, photo comes out. I love these. I think these are a great gift for people who are nostalgic from the 90s and they love stuff like this. So I think this is a really, really cute idea um, for somebody like young and hip. All else fails, get them a gift card. It's not really heartfelt, but hey, it'll make their pockets happy when they gotta go to Starbucks and they got that $10 gift card or that $20 gift card. Those come in handy and I'm not opposed to getting gift cards. You don't have to spend too much time thinking about it, wrapping it, doing stuff with it, just give it to them, boom. Especially if you have a lot of people to buy for, then gift cards make it a lot easier. If you have people who live far away in different states, different cities, sending your cards is great because you can do it online. You don't even have to worry about going to a store or anything. You can do it from the comfort of your toilet. Yes, I will be giving away two gift cards as well um, to your favorite store. You just tell me what store you want me to get you a gift card to and I will get you your gift card. So I hope that this was helpful to you guys. I hope that I gave you guys some good ideas and I will um, be sure to put everything that I mentioned in the description box. I think that I will upload another video before Christmas, but if I don't, Merry Christmas, and I will see you guys in my next video. I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Bye!